Hello everybody, welcome back to Captain's Wrath 3.0 presented by Dota Cinema and Mood.TV. My name is Sunspan, joined by Cinderwin, Seraction Slacks on stats, and Pimp Muckle doing observing slash memeing slash production. We have game three of this best of three of the last series of Group Hippo. And ironically, actually not ironic at all, Team Liquid with the horse logo is not unfortunately in Team Horse, but they will be facing EG. But there is a horse in Group Horse, guys, and that is Empire, just saying. True. And nobody gets knocked out. There's just lower bracket for Liquid and upper bracket for EG no matter the outcome. And then if EG wins this, they get first place in the group. That is correct. I have been paying attention. Nice. Okay. So Vegas so, Squadron and EG will be the upper bracket in the playoffs for uh, this group. Yeah. It's all about positioning now. So we'll see. So I see a Ricky. What, yeah, I'm seeing Ricky. He got ignored last game, though. No, he got banned. Oh, he did? Okay. Yeah, it was last ban. For Liquid, right. which they have the chance to do again. Yeah, if they do that, I think that's an invoker for oh, EG, yeah. probably. No doubt. No doubt. There's some really good EG heroes in this pool to keep an eye out for, and some really good Liquid ones. There's Kuroki's Rubik, there's Jerex's Wyvern, and we've got Invoker for Samil and for Fata, and the Darkseer for both Universe and Mind Control. Going to be a lot, of, uh, a lot of big plays in this game, I think. There's so many heroes. There's also the Clockwork for Mind Control. I'm looking here, and I'm trying to think if there's a good counter to Brood. Maybe Alchemist, because Brood could be super sick, as Ricky is available. I don't think that anybody's going to first pick him. Darkseer is the best counter. I think that's why EG feel like they have to take it already. They could potentially go Brood mid as well. Yep, absolutely. That's pretty dirty, and it prevents Team Liquid from picking Brood up themselves. I mean, they technically could, I guess. It's just annoying to play Brood against Darkseer. All right, what other tier ones do we have? Uh, I know EG has been playing a decent amount of clinks. Um, I mean, Enchantress is still there. And Ricky is actually second pick. Wow, Liquid. Support or core? We've only seen support so far this tournament. I guess Ricky is pretty good at killing Ench, right? Yeah, potentially. Because that isn't affected by the attack speed slow. You just hit once right. every time. So. But you got to slow them. So Diffusal Blade... Would have to be picked up or some sort of a stun to set it up. Otherwise, the ultimate is so bad. Yeah. Is there any AoE stun that we should look out for? Berserkers, Call is pretty good for Axe. Cogs for Clockwork. Yeah. Technically, that's... Concoction, that's not Winter's that great. Winter's Curse, but it doesn't work the same way anymore. Yeah. But I guess then after it ends, they're clumped up, and then you can use it. That's pretty much it. There's not that many stuns. I mean, Wraith Fire Blast is a stun, but that's not really a great setup, I would say. Shadow Shaman Shackles, that's that's the dream, I guess, in this draft. I love the Bristle pick, by the way. I think it's super good. It's a natural counter to Ricky. Yeah, that's true. Um, I think Rubik does very little against Bristle in general, too. Just run him down. You're not really scared of... If you get lifted into the enemy team, usually you have a backup plan with your team helping you out, so you can front line very easily into a potential aggressive telekinesis. So I like that pick a lot. No, Liquid feel like they need to find a way to kill this Bristle, so they're going to get Clinks, heavy single target damage, but they don't have that good setup, right? Because, again, Winter's Curse doesn't really work that way anymore. Um, I'm worried for Liquid's ability to kill this Bristle. You know, I'm amazed Enchantress is still there. I don't think EG takes it now, since they have their core Bristle and offlane Darkseer. I mean, potentially they could, I guess, just jungle it or something, but can Liquid get away with Enchantress? I don't know. They have a very squishy lineup. I mean, Enchantress isn't really squishy, I guess. Hmm. You know who'd be good She's for okay EG is Liquid. Alk. Get them ags, man. Bristleback yeah. ags? Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> That's what I like. It's more fun than good, I think. Well, they do have a lot of minus armor synergy, though, with Goo and then Witch Doctor Ult doing physical damage. Yeah, true that. Not terrible. And then with Acid Spray. Yeah. Yeah, I could see that. I'd like to see Axe, though. I don't know how good that is, though. If anyone picks it, it's Liquid, I think. Well, EG yeah, could so. technically run a Greedy Jungle for Fear. But I don't think it's that good of a pick this game, and he could just get Rickied all the time in the jungle. So it's not... <laughs> well, Ricky is a core, wrong. right? I mean, I not necessarily. It's a core now. I mean, Rubik could be mid, I guess, but there's no way Wyvern's core. And yeah, that's Rubik's true. They had to play core Rubik. Yes! Oh! I was going to bring this up. I didn't want to jinx nice. it. 
I wanted to see Pudge. I want to see Fear play Pudge because I know his Pudge is actually ridiculously good, but I don't know if that's going to be the case. Oh, yeah, it's definitely Fear on Pudge. I don't think there good. is. I think it's, well, it could technically be Sumail mid Pudge, but then we're dealing with a support Naga. They could try to do that if they wanted. And then put Pudi Naga, Fear on the Witch Doctor. You said Sumail versa. Pudge, perhaps? Five yeah, seconds. that's the only other I way I see them really landing. I've never landing. seen, I mean, I'm sure he can play it, but I. And there it is. There it is, yeah. If anyone picks it, it's liquid. Good way of dealing with Naga, and it's good against Bristle. You turn him to your team. Yep. So you can kill him with clinks. But there's a little bit of a. Like, it's weird with their heroes because X. X and Ricky have, like, this weird synergy, or lack of synergy, rather, against Bristleback. He gets turned toward the Clinks, but Ricky can't, like, no matter what, Ricky can't really deal with Bristle very well. How and is it is, Curse? It is some mill. How good is Curse this game? Um, It's pretty good if you curse someone next to Bristleback. Bristle has really high physical damage, and there's a good chance that the Clinks will go for a medallion, maybe, so they can amplify it on the target. How does, uh, like, if... If Pudge is rotted, that rot hurts his teammates. As it's not just physical attacks, right? So like Ion Shell would also Ten hurt the main target. That's uh, uh, shit, this up. is a new Wyvern. I think only physical, right? Only physical. All right. Well, we'll see probably because there's I think so. a lot of opportunity to see that. Either way, this is game three between EG and Liquid for the last series of Group Hippo Group Horse begins tomorrow. And like Prepare we said, this is all about. The seeding. EG has already made it into upper bracket. No team is eliminated because that would not be fun. But yeah, the group stage is super quick. That's the thing I like about this format is super quick, uh, about four days of each group, and then playoffs start immediately thereafter. <laughs> That's true. This could be a long one. It is Arteezy on, uh, on the Naga Siren. So for EG, it probably will not end early unless they just snowball out of control. I just think in this patch, we very rarely have games that go beyond the hour. Even with something like Naga, you get maxed out maybe minute 40, and then most of the time it's... Or 45, maybe. The game just ends one way or the other. Well, it's going to be interesting to see. The Ricky is off lane, so it is a core, like you said. Fata will be playing Axe in the mid lane against Bristle. Oh, I've only seen that this a couple times. That is a really times. interesting matchup. This is kind of a... I don't want to say he did it consistently, but maybe a year and a half ago, he would do this every now and then, but obviously not... It's never been a consistent thing for Axe. But I love him mid. Who's he going to be playing yeah. against? Oh, Here? it's... I th no. I'm guessing it's Bristle, right? So... Yeah. If it yeah. is Bristle, that's... It's a special lane because obviously Axe can force Bristle to hit him in the creep wave and can deal a lot of damage. But at the same time, Axe is very low armor. So Quill Spray stacking up is also a problem. And it's difficult to just... You know... Bristle might be able to half zone him if he plays it very well. Level 3 on. Just... Quill spam with bottle might work against this melee hero. It'll be interesting to see. My control is going to try to get this wave aggro. And he does so successfully. Has to keep applying an auto attack every now and then so he doesn't go invisible. First world problems here for Ricky. But it's going to be a 1v1 at least for now against the Naga Siren. So that should be an interesting matchup overall. Fata, level 1 battle hunger. Explain this to me. Um. Good question. Maybe it wasn't a question. Well, I don't, know. I don't think so. So far, it set them up pretty well, but now Samel is going to start dealing a lot of damage with these quills, and he backs out. And it's a way of trying to harass PPD a bit in lane, keep him away. Uh, it also gives move speed, of course, so he can create distance to the bristle. Bristle but doesn't yeah, really have much of an issue taking weird. that off. It's more for the witch doctor, I suppose. I mean, the the only real alternative level one would be to skill counter helix. Um, which would have maybe pushed the wave at an unfortunate time for him. All right. Well, I'm interested to, to see if he actually position. maxes Battle Hunger, does a 1 3 1, or just keeps a casual point. I mean, one point's okay just for the speed bonus, but as far as damage, it's going to be negligible, especially as we get into the later laning stages. Yeah, and against a hero like Bristle in lane, he will always be able to get CS, more or less. So. Oh, Fatayan being aggressed again here by PPD. He skilled the heal, though, not Maledict, so I don't think they can get this kill. Yeah, playing it super safe. They the want Fata this is to getting like zoned game. super hard. Like, EG are crushing the lanes if you look at the CS. This isn't even remotely close. Oh my god, you're right. <laughs> and they get a kill too. Okay. What? How? Uh... Alright, that is a really surprising kill. I didn't Meanwhile, think Naga would be lane, able to solo kill Ricky. By the rune, fear. 
He surged up, does not have hook, just rot right now, and Jerax looks to be yeah. fine. Very nice I'd... from Arteezy, though. He must have pressured mind control really hard and just drained his tangos and then caught him off guard with a riptide in the end with the end snare. I mean, that's the last lane I was looking for a yeah, kill. Yeah, exactly. Honestly. I wasn't even... like I thought that lane was just going to play itself out and they both get some CS and they chill a bit. But yeah. Artur had other plans, it looks like. Yeah, he has a one-level advantage as a result of that kill. And like you said, the CS is actually insanely in favor of EG right now. Um, this... What do we have for the offlane? So they both transition to the to try to get that kill mid, but I think Fear probably gets maybe one more level in hook and then Universe. starts to roam. Oh, Fear's guess. coming in. Good hook on Kuro. And he gets the hook into a rot into He's the right clicks of Universe. And that is a kill going the way of EG. Right clicks will not suffice from a tumble man. In fact, he better be careful. Gets off the skeleton walk just in time. No sentries in place as <laughs> Fear going for a very... I mean, he has Ion Shell applied as well, so that's actually pretty disgusting. This is such a classic pub lane. I can't believe yeah. we didn't mention that Darkseer Pudge together as a laning option. Oh, Fata mid lane. Cask, as well as the Goo applied. He's going to attempt to run away. Has a lot of armor for a short period of time, but once it runs out, that cool spray just rips him a new one. Oh, man. He had Arcane Rune on the Bristle. It's like a heaven sent for that kind of lane. Meanwhile, bottom lane, Arteezy takes a little bit of damage from mind control, but nothing to really write home about. And now there's three top for Liquid. They need to win a lane, badly. Mid lane, I think, is just lost. I don't know if you can, what you can do about that. Oh, Arteezy again against mind control. Has the mango, about it here. but yep. yeah, Riptide on cooldown for another four seconds. Gets the bottle on the side lane. And is he actually going for this? Oh my god. Oh. Is it enough damage? Does he see? Okay, he's going for <laughs> I think he would have so, lived. Like, but that would have been really, really close. Yeah, 180 damage, yeah. No, he would have died. He would have died, yeah. He would have died, yeah. Well, at least we know that Arteezy's not hacking, guys. <laughs> or that to, he's cloaking it very check. well. Yeah, I know Fear plays uh, Pudge quite a bit. Back, I think it was last year we were at, uh, I think it was the qualifiers for TI. He was spamming that hero, and that was during his injury. So you can only it's... play a couple games a day before icing it. Lots and lots of pudge, though. It's a really fun hero. Oh, bottom. Arteezy going for the mango play. And there comes PPD with the Dusk. Beautiful setup. And Dusk with the cask. Can try to right-click. They're going to get a little miss action going, but the inevitable death will will come for that Ricky bot lane. And now this tower is in trouble. Bata was forced into the jungle, I suppose, and has to go back to base. But yeah, you're right. Ask, Liquid has Frank to find the lane. For mid uh, it's normal for Axe. <laughs> well, yeah, but if you play mid lane, is it? I think so, yeah, still. Good move speed, good sustain in general. It gives you some of the oh armor God, that you're Bottom liking. lane again. They're doing the exact same thing. Dust is popped. Arteezy has no mana, but has a mango. Mind control forced to blink strike away. Yeah, top lane in the meantime. Fear surged away. Looks like they'll live. Arteezy again with the mango play into a cask. TP support's coming. Tower's extremely low. Deniable, in fact. Arteezy going the opposite way as Fata is going to focus on PPD. Doesn't look like Ricky's going to be able to find a kill for himself. PPD taking a decent amount of damage. We'll pop he his just Voodoo Restoration. A couple more right clicks. I don't know. Sumail is here with the, the goo. And now Fata forced back. He has illusions, which are actually quite good on Axe if you can position them correctly. But he'll take a cask. Mind Control is forced to just watch his teammate die before him. Very scarring experience for him. This is looking just downright ugly right now. Liquid are getting stomped in this early game. They're losing by almost a thousand gold per minute, minute six. Jesus. Almost a 5k lead here for EG in the laning stage alone. That's because the only lane that's getting pretty much anything is the Clink's safe lane. And even then, the Darkseer is pretty much tied with him. So, yeah. Not looking good for Liquid. You, you pointed out they have to try to win a lane, but I don't know... I don't know where the ganks can, can really come from. Uh, the Winter Wyvern and Rubik is a pretty weak support duo as far as damage is concerned. Both of them need levels to start outputting that damage. They don't really have it yet. And Bristle is a difficult kill mid. The Nage is also a difficult kill bottom. He's level 7 now. Song of the Siren obviously available. And the top lane, they just can't seem to ever catch them off guard without the Surge. So each is just outplaying them in every lane. Yeah, and even when they tried to help the support that is for Liquid, they were literally walking there and... 
so much time was wasted. They, they're under leveled as a result, under farmed. Winter Wyvern finally leveling up his skills. He was holding on to the Splinters, or the only one level of Arctic Burn for a while there, but we'll be forced to get two in Splinter. I guess that's not forced. That's kind of what you want to do normally. Smoke like, is there any? What's that? Oh, oh yeah, do smoke they have, top. Do they have dust? They do on fear. Yeah, Matumba's in trouble. He's going to get cast. Oh, surge, cask, hook, rot. Matumba man gets his ult. Actually, it runs out, I should say. So he has lower HP now, and Clinks is a super easy kill. Kuroki next on the list. Unfortunately for him, only level three. And the double ion shell just rips right through him on top of the rot. Yeah, it's actually rotting. nice how the the witch doctor voodoo restoration counteracts the rot on himself, so he doesn't really take damage from rotting when PPD is next to him. Allows him to pursue that little bit longer. And not be scared. I think without voodoo restoration there he would have thought twice about maybe diving for Kuro that far, mm -hmm. but he's healthy the whole way. Dyer's top tower. I think Fear's classic build on this hero, by the way, is Tranquils into, I think, Soul Ring? Um, we're gonna see. He has the Tranquils already. Gotta be between Soul Ring and probably Force Staff. I'm not Just so sold on blink, the whole... Guys. I'm not so sold on the whole Aetherlands hype right now. Now that it lost the Magic Resist, I think that was big a big part of the appeal for the Pudge, was to get really? it for that. Um, I don't know. The extra range is nice, but the hook already has so long range that it's there are a few spots where it's really useful to catch someone on the edge of it, but when you look at how it actually plays out in games, I would guess most of the hooks you land aren't actually max range. They're just like semi It puts from fear into the heart of your opponents. You can be literally anywhere on the map. It's a global hook. But yeah, and I get your point. I mean it's I would prefer mobility first, but I mean I I still think Aether Lens is kind of core. Because it's su it's such a cost effective way to I mean, it increases your damage as well. Don't even forget that. That is, that is true. There's still the damage, damage which is good. Hook will miss, but Dust will not. Sentry place for the opposing team. And nothing will come of this. Or will it? Universe surges out. PPD is the only one that's kind of close, but should be good to go. 7-0 advan advantage for EG, and the lead is just rising. It's about 7,500 now in their favor. Oh, yeah, the sentry top. My goodness. That is super, super close. Unfortunately, no quest will be completed with that ward. <laughs> Which, by the way, yes. I haven't even started that one yet. I don't know about you, Sindarin. Probably Which not a one? surprise. Uh, countering sentries <laughs> or countering wards. Oh, I'm not sure where it is even in that. I, I don't know. I haven't very actively been uh, pursuing it. So you I'm should actually probably pay sure more for... attention to the things that don't matter in Dota. Like yeah, your I guess. compendium. Wait, what does Sumail buy? Is that... Okay, it was just a uh, Perseverance into... Or actually not Perseverance, he just got a casual Void Stone for the mana and then Vanguard. And then... What's he gonna use the Void Stone for? Hmm... What are the good options? Uh, Ricky looking for just one... A couple potential backstabs to get this kill. He gets the Smoke Bomb off into his ult, but it does nothing. Absolutely nothing. It's actually kind of funny, like you were talking about, the innate counter that is Bristleback. Yeah. Ricky just does nothing. What do you think he's getting with this Void Stone? It's like... It could Battle be a Lotus, Lotus Orb build-up, or Yules? I wouldn't put it past Sumail to get Yules. Lincolns? That's, he's had a, a love affair with that item. Refresher. <laughs> Whee! I don't know, that is obviously very weird. Could just be the casual Void Stone, you never know. Highly yeah, doubtful, but... I don't know, is Lotus a good Orb item on the hero. Okay. He kind of needs the mana a bit. Under attack. A little bit of an odd choice we don't see so much. But damn, some mail is farmed, and so is Arteezy. Like, the gold graph just keeps going in one direction. It's almost... There's a 7,500 gold lead for EG, and that's where the only one tower claimed. The mid tower is almost falling. The top tower is almost falling. Fear gets a hook on a creep. Got it. It's gonna pour out. Get wrecked, creep! And what did he buy? He used some gold here. Went urn. Okay. It's another good item on Putch. Man, boring item, I say. You know, <laughs> I want I want more action with Pudge, and I mean, I guess it's more sustained, but meh. I want to see him like j jump somebody with a blink or a force staff, you know, or aether lens. Good stuff. But if you uh, if you look at the net worth, it's just getting out of control. Top three in favor of EG as far as heroes are concerned, and the top two are just running away with this mind control in the meantime. Looking for PPD, they'll find their first kill of the game. Hook will completely miss. And Liquid will be happy with that exchange, because they gave up nothing. 
Bato really needs his blink, though. That's when they start coming online to a certain degree. And only a couple hundred away. 300, actually, in fact, to finish Dyer's that bad boy off. But Universe, top. my god, he's so farmed. He has a mech. Gonna be going for Arcane next, I assume. Are there any, uh... What does Guardian Greaves take off? Anything in particular this game? Mm, it's not very good this game. Slow from Splinter Blast, I suppose. Yeah, I think... I don't think Clinks is getting Orchids, so... I think we're going to see him get Arcanes, and then a potential Grieve upgrade is probably pretty late in the game. Uh, mm -hmm. Items that would be good are obviously mobility items like Blink Force Staff. Force Staff is really good against Ricky. And you're looking for a hook. He's going to get the invisible Matumba Man, but he's not invisible anymore thanks to the Sentry as well as Dust. There's oh, the good curse, curse from Jerax. Fear, is it doing damage? Oh, it's on the wrong target, so we can't really see yet. Fear will pay for that with his life. Matumba Man next on the list, though, for Samael. He's just so tanky with that Vanguard and random voice on which will be a Yule's, by the way. And Arteezy has come to say hello, and they will find the Winter Wyvern in turn. So two for one and the tower going the way of EG. That was a very good curse, though, from Jerex. That kind of... I mean, they didn't win the fight, but it salvaged what could have been a horrible situation for them. So, yep, they do lose a tower and two heroes, but could have been way worse. We'll see. Yep, it is going to be a four staff for Universe, most likely. He bought the Staff of Wizardry. I think, yeah, force slash blink, and then... I don't think pipe is that bad. It's also not that great, this game, actually. He probably doesn't need it. <laughs> I figured there'd be a, at least one Charlie reference in this cast. <laughs> Mandatory. All right, what are we missing on this Yules? I need the reasoning. I mean, it gives extra move speed, extra intel, obviously. I mean, I would say it's good against Ricky initiating on you, but he doesn't care about that. The move speed is great. So it's just more move speed related. Yeah. Just it solves his mana right? issues. It gives him move speed. It Gives him oh, catch. Fudge hooks Kuroki directly on his cliff, and Fata is forced to just let his teammate oh, cool. die. A oh. suffering death. Whoa. Oh it's my like god. The last man. tick of Rot. I think it was really far away. It still died. But yeah, it's it's a cool item on Bristle. He's. Because of his just big innate tankiness and then the Vanguard buildup, he can go for something like this where he gets some more control, and the mana problems is. They're obviously solved with this. It's really nice. Decent counter to X, actually. If he if he sees him pre-blink, he can pre-cast Yules. I'm not sure if that's the reasoning. It's probably mostly about oh, the move speed and mana. I guess there's potential Extra, to... Yules yeah. always has a use in the game. Well, true. One of those Which items. Is definitely odd to see. It's the first time I've ever seen on Bristol back at least. Pudge. Fear gets the hook into Dust. Matumba Man, you're going to get eaten alive, good sir. Sumail's here to steal the kill. Typical Sumail fashion. It's going for Crimson Guard, by the way. And they're going to transition this to a Tier 2. Although Sumail surged up. All right, if he's going to go like out of the box items, you got to go Ags, man. I freaking love Ags on Bristleback. It's so fun. But probably not. Crimson Guard is complete at base, by the way. Yep, he is off the charts in farm. And we haven't talked so much about Arteezy, but he almost has a Radiance minute 15. So. Oh, yeah. Yep, he just needs 500 gold for that recipe. And it's, it's difficult to see the openings Liquid have to Liquid can find here. I think they have to just try to make some plays with Smoke. If they yeah, keep I mean, trying to slowly farm, they're going to get started. It feels like they death. don't have a window because they lost the laning stage so bad. Because usually yeah. Clink is going to be running around this time getting solo kills. But he's he is going Desolator, but still quite a ways away. Still needs one more Mithlor Hammer. And, I mean, the Radiance will be complete before the Deso on Clink's. That's rough. And who can he really solo kill? He can't kill the Bristle. He can't kill the Naga. He can't kill the Darkseer. Witch I guess, Doctor. Yeah, Witch Doctor and Pudge are the two only targets he can get. And usually when you start roaming on Clinks, you want to kill Chorus if you can. The parts are great. I mean, kills are kills. But those high priority kills that set back EG's game plan are very difficult for him to find. I think they need to get Fata active. To smoke up him and use that oh, another hook this something. time finds Jerax. he has a cold embrace available we'll use it fought in the meantime jumps in looks like it might be to his death one more quill spray will finish the job it seems indeed it does ricky in the meantime uses his ultimate to little to no avail and eg just completely pounding into liquid kuroki next on the list mind control looking to perhaps initiate more but we'll find the the right clicks of sumail as I hear a song of the siren going off, this is going to be the fourth kill in favor of EG. Clinks was caught by the song. Not enough to oh, get the radiance. kill, but the radiance will tick away. And 
I hate to say it, but this feels like GG. I don't see how you can possibly come back from this. No, me neither. This is just an absolutely dominant showing from EG. I love how active they were in the early game. I think EG as a team often uh, strategically just play it a little bit slower and just you know farm up a little bit and look for their mid-game timings. But in this game, they identified how much they could actually accomplish with their Witch Doctor and Pudges just roaming around a lot. Both PPD and Fear really set them up for success in this game with some great moves. Uh, this game make sure to destroy all his items over. before the throne explodes. But with that, that well, is the stomp. end of not only this series, but the end of the first group, which is Group Hippo. EG takes first place in that group, followed by Vega. They both will go on to the upper bracket. Meanwhile, Team Liquid and Mama's Boys will go to the lower bracket. And of course, Group Horse will begin tomorrow which includes the rest of the teams invited. Um, any final words, Slacks and Cinderwin, before we bid everybody adieu? I think Slacks has something good to say. I'll let him do it. All right, we'll wait. God damn it, I'm trying to work on a stat. Now I, it's not finished. There, <laughs> that's all I got. Thanks a lot. I'm trying to do my stat. Perfect. Liquid will... That's not even correct, but okay. We'll How go does that make it. sense again? <laughs> he doesn't understand. <laughs> That's the best thing about Slacks. You never know if he's kidding, but I always do. And he never is. He's completely genuine in everything he does, guys. But anyway, with that, we will uh, say goodbye for now. Everybody enjoy the Super Bowl, which will be coming up later today. A couple hours, in fact. And I don't Go think there's Broncos. anything else to say, right? Thanks, Cinder, for joining us. Hopefully you can join us again while Captain's Draft uh, continues on. There's only like four more days of group stage, and then playoffs begin at my house, which you are not invited to, by the way. Oh. I'm going. Become, I'm going to sleep in the bathroom. <laughs> oh, yeah. You can do stats from the bathroom. That would be perfect, actually. Thank All you. right. Thanks, guys. Uh, we'll, we'll see you next time.